Hi, I'm Pete, and today we're going to think about how to make prop stands for school lockers. Here's what we're talking about. Now, if you ever find yourself needing to support a school locker for use as a prop, say your wife is a beautiful genius director and she needs some of these bad boys assembled so the lockers can stand free on the stage. Well, then you're gonna to need to make yourself some prop stands for the school lockers. So that's what we're gonna to do today, is just take a look at how you make a prop stand uh, of a design that'll work. Now, this is basically a rough schematic of what we're going for here in terms of alignment. As you can see, we've got a box. That's right, we'll line these things up just about so. Uh, you see we're constructing a box with some old wood, having trained at the Roy Chambers Scenic Design Institute and apprenticed with the master for a little while. Turns out I had a bunch of these pieces. That's maybe a I don't know, half, three quarters of an inch by maybe four inches, something like that. Well, three and a half, three and a quarter. And we just buzz that right down the edge so that we get a flat, flat surface for attaching and making our box. So we're using found materials. The base is particle board. Uh, you wanna be careful because it's not in itself the, the sturdiest stuff. You can go through it. It's, it's plywood of a sort, I guess but made of particles. Anyhow, you don't want to drill these puppies down uh, too far in, uh, but I think it'll hold for this purpose. How we arrive at this design? Well, just uh, getting familiar over the years with what certain kinds of wood can support. As you see, uh, we tested a prototype. Um, this isn't it, but you know, we're shooting a video and that's what you get. Okay, where's that going? You know, besides, well, of course, we'll finish it off with some bolts down here. Okay. Screw, we're using some um, three inch screws. Pretty significant. There you go. There you go. I mean, you get two of these probably per each of these pieces, which is about 11 and a half. That should do you, but we put a, another in for extra support. Okay. Now we need to think about cutting. All right, it's very important uh, that you have some protective wear and that you use caution when uh, operating um, a compound miter saw. And so we're gonna make uh, measure off two 11 and a half inch pieces and that'll be the sides. We already have the one and a quarter ends that are going in there. We're gonna use this because this is gonna be closer than my fingers are. Very important to respect your tools. You take care of your tools and they'll take care of you. Here we go. Nice quick cut. It's going to be a little rough. That's why we had the sandpaper here. And just make sure that you give it a little light sand. Actually, in the two or three of my fingers right now are small pieces of wood like this. Splinters that I'm carrying around just to kind of remind me what living is. It's not possible to avoid all of those things when you're working with wood, and especially when you're doing a kind of quick and dirty project like this. According to our plan, we want to go about, eh, I'm, I'm saying seven and a half inches from the edge. Um, none of this is so, you know, uh, precise. It just matters that kind of, you need to be consistent enough to be stable because ultimately, the security of the locker. Uh, in fact, I'm not going to release this video until the lockers haven't fall down. Might be a good idea. See, so, that be wouldn't that be rough if you were doing one of these how-to YouTubes and then the next story that came up was like town decimated in freak school locker prop stand incident. I'm trying to do enough just so that there's a little guide in the bottom. Okay. I'm getting nervous for the camera. 
camera. We got enough. We got enough. Now you're centering the pieces right on here. Now you're just kind of eyeing that in. <coughs> you definitely want to try to hit toward the center of this. I'm talking about the center widthwise, widthwise, so that you get enough to grab into. You're putting that in there. Okay. And then the extra pair of hands is going to hold that bottom piece steady. Where you go, boom, uh, the correct way, boom. Let's see how we're doing. Where's that going? Whoops, sorry. Where's that going? The size of no play -Doh. Okay, so this one's basically gonna go here. How do we determine where it's gonna go? Well, we flip this bad boy over again. And we say we want two inches deeper. I didn't have any problem with the splitting. Hmm. Oh, this Canada Dry is delicious. Mmm, that is good seltzer. You may want to give that a little love. Oh, it kind of is, that's a gratifying problem to have because it was really, really close. So I'm using some, uh, this is like a cheap substitute for baseboard. You see it around less expensive than baseboard and also more resilient to grime and stuff like that. So you'll see that in a lot of kitchens, bathrooms, schools. Okay. So you can make those kinds of adjustments. Tune that up a little bit. This is okay. Moving in. <laughs> So we're doing quick holes here. One, two, and again, these are just pilot holes. That's hot. Two. Okay, and while we're still on this side, see that? Again, you can use a slower drill. You know, this is a little bit more firepower than you need for this situation. And you can always go back and forth. But I'll tell you, dude, there is nothing like not having to go back and forth and just, you know, that, I mean, like, that's, that's kind of what people are in this uh, prop stand racket for. You know, is that kind of satisfaction of driving home a screw Boom. in front of that. What do you got there though? Uh, something that's pretty secure but we're just going to blast in a couple to hot dog it. Just lining up this and you got those two pieces of wood but they're supported by six metal six metal pins okay so we're gonna bolt this sucker in we're gonna use some number eight 32s by one and a half inches and that just refers to a gauge for the bolt that we'll be using to secure these guys we're gonna use two of them because that'll be plenty and with the bolt we're gonna use the matching washers uh, on the wood side keep the bolt head from going too far into the wood I guess they can just make it even more secure wash is a nice touch you know it's like it's a pro job here okay we're gonna use a uh, bit that'll let us go through um, it's gonna be something like eh, do you have enough light on that yeah this is gonna be a pilot point titanium drill bit I'm using something like it that's already in here. So we got this about where we want it. And 
And with a little bit of effort, you see that we got a hole through, boop, through the mail as well. Almost time for that new drill bit, I think. Um, I don't want to go too far over this way because there is like a liner that's an extra bit of metal that you don't need to deal with. It's not going to help you to get there. So I'm putting my washer on, going through like that, coming around the back. Done with the drill for now, so that's out of the way. Turn that right on, holding it in the back, a few turns, okay, and that is pretty good. Thanks for watching. I mean, really, what were you doing? <laughs>